Well, happy Thursday, everybody. Thanks for taking these moments on a Thursday morning uh, to kind of learn about all things Crossroads Church, and it is Let Me Encourage You Thursday. So glad that you are with me for just these few moments today. Well, as we approach this weekend, a couple of really special things are on the kind of on the horizon for us, both this week and the next week. This week is baptism, and that's going to be a wonderful day at Oceanside Harbor at 1 p.m. And if you did not receive an email that has all of the kind of the details of the day, I'll just recap them for you quickly. We start at 1. We're going to baptize around 1.30, Oceanside Harbor. Uh, parking's going to be a little tricky, I think, just because of the crowds on Sunday. So just make provision for that. Also, we are going to be at Lifeguard Station 14, just to the left of that. It'll all make sense when you get there. I look forward to seeing you. It's going to be a wonderful day. Bring a chair. Uh, we have to stay distanced. We can't con congregate in large groups. So bring chairs. Maybe you want to bring a tent. Whatever you might do when you go to the beach. But come and join us. It'll be a wonderful day. And the following week on Saturday is the Women's Coffee Connection at 9 a.m. So check the website for all the details on that. And then Sunday, the 27th, so we're having an outdoor service. Excited about that. Don't want you to miss it. That'll be at 9 a.m. Sunday morning, the 27th. Okay, so once again, this Sunday, baptism. Next Saturday, the 26th, Women's Coffee Connection. And then the following Sunday, the 27th, an outdoor service at 9 a.m. at Crossroads. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful uh, seven or eight days or whatever it is. <laughs> I think there's seven days in a week, something like that. Well, anyway, and then also, would you be prayerful? And this is going to lead into our, our, our encouragement from the Word of God today. Be prayerful. Uh, on, the, on Tuesday of this coming week, the 22nd, uh, if Riverside County maintains the current trajectory, as it were, in regards to COVID cases, there is the potential of reopening more businesses, which includes places of worship. So we don't know yet. But we are believing that that's going to occur, and if that does, then we will keep you informed as to how we will proceed with our in-person gatherings at Crossroads Church. But that's this Tuesday. There will be, um, I, I guess, not an announcement or certainly to follow the numbers, and then every Tuesday they release those numbers. Well, as we looked at God's work for just a moment, I want to revisit a passage of Scripture I did some months ago or weeks ago. And it's Romans chapter 12 and verse number 12. The Apostle Paul says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. I've been thinking about this these past few days, and it really is very important for us to reconnect with that verse. Joyful in hope. Think about it for a moment. There's a lot of things that continue to press against us that can erode our hope. But we're to be joyful in hope, regardless of those. I did an entire series over the course of the summertime, and back all the way since, kind of since Easter almost, from the book of Philippians, where we talk about joy regardless. And then Paul says this, patient in affliction. And, you know, we can have personal afflictions, you know, illness and a variety of things that will come against us. But even the current conditions that we're experiencing as a, you know, as a people, as a country, as a state, as a city, we can look at that as being somewhat of a, an affliction, as it were. But we have to be patient in the middle of that. Patience is one of those spiritual fruits that should be natural to us as a follower of Christ. So be patient in affliction. And then here's the third, faithful in prayer. I want to say thank you for your continued faithfulness in prayer. So many folks are joining together at 7.14 in the morning for prayer on my Facebook page. I want, to, I want to invite you once again, be a part of that. If you can't join us at 7.14, join us sometime during the day and then make it a matter of prayer during the day from that point forward. It's less about the time and more about the prayer. And we can't be prayerless at a time like this. And I believe prayer helps us remain joyful in hope. I believe prayer helps us be patient in affliction. And then the faithfulness in prayer is so critical as we navigate the days in which we're in. Well, be encouraged this morning from those words. Romans 12, verse 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and 
faithful in prayer. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday at 9 a.m. Uh, online. I'm looking forward to it. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do. That really helps us. And it also keeps you informed of what's happening. And then follow us on social media, whether that is Instagram or Facebook. And then join me on my Facebook page at 714 for prayer every morning. Blessings to you. Have a great day. Be encouraged.